The year 1970 changed the fate of Oman. When His Majesty Sultan Qaboos bin Said became the ruler of the Sultanate of Oman, people living across the country rejoiced. On this note, let's listen to a few stories from some of those who witnessed the birth of the Renaissance. I came from a village in the uh, western mountains of Oman called Al Qala, and my late father had the only radio in the village and the surrounding villages. And of course, when His Majesty took over in 1970, the news came through the, the radio, we were all very, very excited. And we heard his first speech that he's going to make Oman modern, he's going to make life better for everybody. And I can be a witness that he fulfilled all his promises and Oman today is a different country than what it used to be. I was studying in Bahrain. In 1970, we came for a school holiday to visit the family here. Suddenly, a week later, the government changed to His Majesty Sultan Qaboos. And I call myself one of the lucky people as I attended the arrival of His Majesty at Beit al Falaj Airport. I remember the first speech of His Majesty when he said, I built Oman in 10 years, what the other nations did it in 100 years, which he did it. What I say, bravo to His Majesty. God give him health. I was uh, at my university in India. I was sent to a university after finishing my school uh, in 1970. I had a radio set and I used to regularly listen to the BBC World News on the radio. So I learned from the radio that uh, there has been a renaissance in Muscat and His Majesty, the Sultan has, uh, Sultan Qaboos has, has become the Sultan and there will be a lot of changes. The commentary which followed said that his vision his message to the people of Oman, which was very encouraging. I feel uh, very proud of having lived in this country, which has seen a tremendous development. Of course, it's my ancestral home, so, but, uh, you know, from what we have seen before 1970 till now, it's unimaginable. Other Omanis who were scattered throughout the GCC and Africa returned after hearing His Majesty's call for his people to return and help build the country. At that time I was in Ras al Khaimah, already settled down. I built my own house there. And uh, I thought I was going to stay in Ras al Khaimah. Why it not for this clarion call of the blessed Renaissance when His Majesty Sultan Qaboos took over and he invited all Omanis, wherever they are, to come back and help build this country of fame, history and fame. I believe what we've achieved here in this country has taken other countries maybe centuries. When the news of uh, Sultan Qaboos uh, came to the throne in 1970, I was in Mombasa, Kenya. I was uh, in a secondary school studying. At that time I was 18 years uh, of, of age and uh, we heard that uh, a new sultan has taken over and uh, calling the Omanis residing outside to return to the ancestral home. His Majesty had a vision when he took over in July 1970 that he will change Oman and the Omanis, and is exactly what she, he fulfilled it. There were also those who saw Oman progress over the years in the field of education, health, energy, infrastructure, and many more. I was uh, about 18 years old, and I was in Zanzibar. I was in the final year of my high school. I heard it from uh, one of my sisters, and I believe she heard it through my father who was regularly communicating with a friend here in Oman. When I first came here, there were only three schools, and the schools were only for boys. So the Renaissance has empowered women. And this was something that didn't exist before the Sultan took over. 
and uh, we accepted the empowerment and we appreciate it. In 1970, when I heard the news that His Majesty Sultan Qaboos became the Sultan in Oman, I was in Zanzibar and I heard it through my father. He must have heard it through the radio. Those time, doys, everybody was listening to the radio, either BBC or Cairo. And they say, there's a new Sultan in Oman and he's calling all the Omanis everywhere, wherever they are in the world, to come to Oman. They were built so fast. By 1980, I landed at uh, Sib International Airport and it was the biggest airport I've seen. Yeah, it was a great thing, great feeling to be here. I was in Bahrain when I received the news. It is good news for me that Sultan Qaboos bin Saeed came to the, to the rule of Oman in, uh, in that day. Let me say there is no comparison between 1970 and 2018. I cannot compare, Yani. Today, that we have everything. In 1971, I was dreaming to get bread to eat. I was dreaming with supermarket nothing in 1970. Today, I have everything. I say, Thank you, Mawlai Sahib al Jalala. Thanks to the God that we have our God and we have our Sultan Qaboos. Be God, give him, him all, all the happiness and uh, long life. As the nation continues to grow under the vision and guidance of His Majesty, there are going to be many more milestones to come.